Hello, my name is Adonis and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a love coming spread for all of my Pisces out there. This is a love coming spread for all of my Pisces out there for the week of September 8th into the 14th. So without any further ado, let's jump in and see what the cards have to say. Summer Rising Venus, Jupiter, Summer Rising Venus, Jupiter, show me cards I need to see, show me cards I need to see. What type of love is coming towards my Pisces during the week of September 8th to the 14th? What kind of love is coming towards my Pisces during the week of September 8th to the 14th? Show me all the cards I need to see, the cards I need to see. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Hmm. Okay, so right from the start. We got the nine of wands. Somebody's being a little bit cautious, okay? Someone's being a little bit cautious. Somebody is being um, kind of watching their back a little bit um, because they seem to be, they're not too sure if their affections are, you know, they're putting it out there with you, but they're not sure if you're feeling the same about them. So this individual is an ace of pentacles. This is an earth sign individual. Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. So they're being very, very, very cautious watching their back here. Now this, you know, you present a great opportunity to them, but they just don't know. All right, so that's what's going on with that particular situation. Then we got the Queen of Cups here. That is a water sign individual, a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. Now this person wants to be loyal, wants to be devoted, really wants to... Uh, um, uh, create something that is based on a whole lot of loyalty and a whole lot of emotion, all right? Deep emotional ties. That's what this water sign individual is looking for. We have the Empress here as well, which represents really, you know, fertility, abundance, material happiness. Like, you know, this person wants to connect with you on a really emotional soul level type of thing. Um, now, this person... You, you you may know who they are um, because possibility we got the three of pentacles here it's some type of work situation some type of work environment situation with this individual uh, you, again you may work with them you know you may have met them from work there's something pertaining to work swirling around this situation so that's something that you um, <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> want to keep an eye out for okay so that's what that is okay so then we have the knight of cups there's another water sign individual here this person this individual kind of fancies himself a little bit you know they want to be that knight in white shining armor kind of sweep you off your feet type of thing um dominating da dashing that sort of thing um but what's interesting oh water sign individual cancer pisces scorpio okay so um What's interesting though is we got um, eight of swords energy here. Um, I'm going to I'm going to clarify that. You know that that doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to me. So, um, so and they feel like their hands are tied behind their back. They feel like their hands are tied behind their back, uh, and they feel trapped in a situation. So, give me some clarification on this eight of one, eight of swords. Why is this eight of swords here? Give me some clarification on this eight of swords. Why is this eight of swords here? Give me some clarification on this Eight of Swords. Why is this Eight of Swords? Why is this Eight of Swords here? Give me some clarification on this Eight of Swords. Show me Eight of Swords. Give me some information on this Eight of Swords. Why is this Eight of Swords here? Okay. Well, that makes sense. Makes sense because the reason why they're feeling like their hands are top behind their back is because they're not getting what they want. You know, uh, you know they believe that if you guys were... Uh, to hook up and be together or whatever, wish fulfilled. And so they, they're feeling like they're trapped. Like, you know, they, they're, their hands are tied behind their back. They feel like they're, they're trapped because they know that their wishes will be fulfilled via the your wishes will be fulfilled too. And you're just being difficult because you're not being able to see what they're saying, what they're seeing. I'll let that facial expression speak for itself, all right? So that's what's going on with that particular individual. All right, and as, as well, no, we're not, we're not, we're not quite done yet. Um, in addition, here we have the sixth of swords. So they believe not only 
would you fulfill their wishes you know and fulfill your wishes and their wishes if you guys were together because again they're filling themselves okay um but it's also moving them they move you and them both into calm rewards from somewhere a choppy and decisive situation to a more um a more uh, a calmer situation for the whole okay now before i you know move on to your strengths we got the sixth of cups here and so there is a there is a an ex or a secret admirer kind of floating out there um that's also kind of got you in their scope there you know they're kind of you know they're to kind of around the peripheral the edges of the situation as well and they're kind of looking to kind of move in into the situation so that's that's pretty interesting as well to see okay so let's see what kind of strengths you're working what kind of strengths are my Pisces working with what kind of strengths are my Pisces working with during the week of September 8th and to the 14th what kind of strengths are my Pisces dealing with during the week of the September 8th to the 14th what kind of strengths are my Pisces working with some cards I need to see some cards I need to see okay oh Damn, you are popping on all kind of cylinders here. Let me just say that. Right off the gate, Ace of Pentacles. Bang. All right, so you are looking for a solid opportunity. You're looking for a solid opportunity of something really solid that you can really grasp onto. Got the Nine of Cups here, which says, hey, you know, your wishes are fulfilled. You, you're, the, you're in the right space. You're on the right path. You're in the right target. Sun card, you're happy. You're happy. You're happy, which is a really big deal, especially when it comes to your strengths because, again, I'm not I'm giving you a little bit of preview. I'm cheating a little bit, but there is nothing here that's negative that you got to get over. You got to heal from none of that. This is all positive stuff. Love this card here. Harmony, um, twin, fl twin, twin flame connection. You're looking for that. You're happy. You're in a solid place. Great. King of Swords. Strong foundation. Strong mind. You're, you're ment you're mentally, you're strong. You're solid. Full card. You're looking. You're willing to take that leap of faith for that solid opportunity that's going to fulfill your wishes to make you happy. Especially if it's a twin flame connection with someone. All right. Four of Pentacles. I told you this was solid. Assured success. You're pretty sure of yourself because you're coming from a mentally strong position. And you pretty much, you know, this week anyway, you are beaming. You are the sun. Emperor card. Solid foundation. You've asserted yourself. Taking a leadership position. Okay, and finally, we got the hangman, and that's the only card you could say that could be, eh, but I say nay. Why? Because you're not afraid to put the brakes on something. If it's not going to fulfill any of these objectives, you are not afraid to put the brakes on and say, nope, stop, halt, not going to go there. I want to be happy. I want to make solid decisions. I want to, be, I'm going to fulfill my wishes. I'm looking for my twin flame. I'm willing, I'm looking to take that leap of faith. I'm looking to have a short success. And I'm coming from a solid place. So if you do not meet any of that criteria, if you don't check every box on that form, then get the hell out of here. That's where you're at right now. These are fantastic strengths to have. Absolutely. Okay, so. With that being said, let's see if kind of anything from your past could affect the outcome of this particular situation. Empress, fertility, abundance. You are looking to have a real, a twin flame connection here. And, you know, if that individual is not going to bring a sense of, 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 of material happiness, wealth, bring overall material happiness and wealth 
and emotional happiness into the situation, then you're not going to want to be bothered with it. Right now, you are beaming. Like I said, you are the sun. And anything less than that just is not going to work. Immaturity. I, I, I mean, page of swords. Need I say more? I mean, if they're immature, childlike, come on, really? It's not going to work for you at all. Finally, five of cups. Looking back in regret, crying over spilled milk. You've done it before, which is how you probably got to where you are. You're not going to do it again. It's over. You are in control. You're in control. You are the sun. You are king here. And that's, you are the king, you're the queen, you're everything in between. So, there you go. Let's see if the spirits have any additional information they want to give you. Before I shut this thing down, what additional information spirits want to give you before I shut this thing down? Some cards I need to see. Some cards I need to <clears throat> see here. Let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got. Ooh, favorite cards. Favorite. Ooh, ooh. Ah. Pisces. I love you. Your strengths are hot. And the oracle cards you got are even better. Alchemy, transmutation, transforming. This is my favorite card. Transforming from one thing into another. From lead to gold. From silver to platinum. That type of thing. You, Spirit wants you to know that you are definitely on the right track here. Don't making that transformation that needs to be made. Alright? So you're... You're you're there. You're you're you are there. You're making a transformation that you need to make. Addition, additionally, core. Taking all of your love, all of that energy, and putting it into a situation that is worth your time. An individual that's going to complete you. You're absolutely on the right track, on the right path. And you got a lot of love, a lot of energy, a lot of happiness. You're vibrating very positive energy. And when you find the right opportunity, bang, boom. So you are definitely on the right path. Moderation. And if that, if you can say maybe that is, if that's, if that's the worst that, you know, is here. I mean, come on. I mean, like, you know. Moderation, you know, don't 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 use it all up at one time. Okay, all right. So we can we can make that argument, I guess. So okay, so um, don't be too happy and, and be too impulsive and, and 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 get everything that you need to get right. Okay, so there I said it. Anyway, now this is me. What I'm gonna say? I'm gonna say, you know what? Look, you're going on a path you need to go on, um, and you got to win against yourselves. You ride that bad boy. And you ride that. You ride that shit till the wheels fall off. That's what I say. So I'm going to disagree with the Oracle card at this particular time. Um, you know, I believe, of course, moderation. You don't want to expel too much. You want to pace yourself. But you know, maybe it's the ego thing. I'm just like, listen, if you if you got these kind of strengths and things are popping for you. Hey, you know what I mean? Like, who knows when the pendulum may swing around again the other way. So, ride that bad boy until you can't ride it no more. All right. So, with that being said, um, my name is Adonis. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, this is a general love reading. Hopefully, really hopefully, this resonated with you because this is a fantastic outcome here. So, hopefully, this resonated with you. Um, if it did, you know, feel free to get a personal reading so we can dig a little bit further. Um, if it didn't, hey, still feel free to get a personal reading so we can figure out what's going on with your particular situation. I love you guys. I appreciate your support, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.